May the peace be with you. You are the missionary to save this world. You will take possession of their land. The name we call forever is only Christ. Because only Christ becomes his city of refugee. May you enter into deeply into Jesus Christ, who is city of refugee. No matter how we live our lives till yesterday does not matter. No matter how, what state you are in does not matter. At this time, may you enter into the city of refugee Christ and enjoy him. You have scars from the past. You have difficulties in your life. It does not matter. Come as who you are and enjoy the blessing of enjoying the city of refugee Christ. May you have this, this blessed time. Those, uh, those who lived the walk of faith for a long time, there was a, a pray. You may remember some uh, hymns or pr praise, the the sing of pilgrim, song of pil pilgrim. The remnants may not know, but for those who have been in church for a long time, you may know this, because. The lyrics of the song match with the difficulties in our lives. Though we didn't know that much, we cry a lot and sang a song of pilgrim. I walk, up, I walk on the path to go to holy place you prepare. You know the, all the past that I went through. This lyrics really touch my heart and expresses how we were. And when we sang this song, the, our hearts were on the lyrics and then we sang and then confessed to God. When you look at the lyrics, it expresses our state so well. And those who live the walk of faith for a long time, their grandmothers and grandfathers and elders may know this song. Even days and nights, I wait for the Lord to come. And in old days, they were faced with difficulties in God, and they sang this praise. In that lyrics, it expresses difficulties. Oh Lord, when are you going to come? Because they were going through difficulties and they were waiting for the Lord to come. When you look at the Bible, remnants, seven remnants, in, in the individuals from Hebrews 11 and the 12 disciples from the early church, from the persecutions of uh, Roman age, from that persecution, people were put in to the lion's cave as they were ripped apart. They were happy. They were thankful. They enjoyed those moments. 
They are the predecessors of believers, seven remnants, the same. It's 12 disciples from the early church. In the age of persecutions, the emperors raised and uh, persecute the Christians. The problems were not problems for them. They have pains, they have to bear pains. No, that wasn't it. In the threat of death, they were not influenced. Do you know why? It's because they enjoyed the blessing of from God at that time, at that place. The most blessed, uh, the greatest blessing in the Bible is what is it? Spiritual blessing, what is it? You and I who are saved, the moment we are saved by Jesus Christ, the blessing of throne is with you. The transcendent, uh, transcendent blessings are with us. From that, the work of light of saving 237 nations, work of God will reveal. The Bible talks about this from the beginning, and this is the greatest blessing that God has given to us. And we have image of God, unlimited God. God has given us the image of Him. And God has given the spirit that you, we know God. And whenever we look upon God, our spirits revive. That's the image of God God has, God has given to us. The spirit of God is with us. Our, our spirits will gain strength. God has given us the strength, us uh, a spirit, to save uh, spirits. God also gives a, a word of God to give a life to this spirit. With the light, a work of light to save 237 nations. The work of uh, God, a spirit of God who is with us. And you, as you enjoy the spiritual blessings. The problems do, do not become problems. That's what happens to the early church disciples. They did not bear pains because the world is so painful. Our heaven is guaranteed. Yes, it is correct, but but you need to enjoy the uh, God's kingdom as you live in this world. That's why the blessings that God has given us is the uh, God has given us a spiritual strength, uh, blessing, so that we we may live our lives. Look at the uh, prayers of the early church because of Lord's name. They were thankful and joyful that they were in the place they were uh, persecuted, uh, persecuted from because of the Jesus, name, Jesus Christ's name. The fact that they were standing in the, they were standing in the spot where they were humiliated because of uh, Jesus Christ's name. No matter what persecutions may come, God gave them the secret to be victorious. It is a life to enjoy true gospel. More time passes, it will, uh, will get difficult. It will get more difficult. And the disasters that we do not want will happen. We are living in the age of crisis. The persecutions will come to those who Grab hold on to the only gospel. You may face difficulties. If we are only Christ and realize that the Christ is the only name we need, then the difficulties and persecutions will come. We do not simply bear, but enjoy those times. 
then you need to realistically find and enjoy the spiritual blessings. If you don't, do not in, find and enjoy spiritual blessings, then you may go to church, but you will follow the world. If you don't enjoy these tremendous blessings, you will use the method of the world. And later on, you will do you will do errands of Satan and errand, uh, world. You will miss all the spiritual blessings. You will be a slave to Satan, and your your life will be uh, miserable. What we really need to enjoy and restore, what the Bible talks the most, is a secret of spiritual life. In your field, you need to enjoy. Now, you need to enjoy in your in your problems. That's why today's title is Enjoy City of Refugee of Grace Always. Always enjoy the cities of refugee in the grace. What's the fundamental of this blessing? What's the fundamental of fundamentals is the city of refugee. In other words, Jesus Christ. There were 12 tri uh, tribes in the Israelites and they were given the cities before they enter into Canaan. They were given the, uh, the cities before they entered the land of Canaan. And six of them Six of cities were appointed as a city of refugee. It is used to which anyone who had killed a person could flee if he had, he had unintentionally killed his neighbor. The city of refugee he didn't appoint the cities of refugee in the center so that the anyone could easily find and come in. We make mistakes every day and that, that's why we need every day is the city of refugee. City of Refugee was used for those who killed uh, someone unintentionally, but right now we make mistakes every day. That's why we need City of Refugee every day. In other words, we cannot live without God's grace every day. In old days, City of Refugee were built by region. But we have complete city of refugee in us. In the old days, the city of refugee were uh, set by the region. Right now, we have city of refugee in us. Revelation 3.20, here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Those who accepted Jesus Christ, you have or you have prepared seed of refugee already. Seed of refugee symbolizes the Christ. Every day, we need to enjoy the seed of refugee to Christ every day. Why do we say only Christ and emphasize only Christ? As we live our lives, devil is attacking us. Evil Satan attacks us. He knows our weakness so well. He knows our mankind's problem so well. Also, he knows our weakness so well. 
And the Bible says, do not allow the Satan to attack you. On, that's why we say only Christ, only Christ. If we do not talk about this, that we will be caught and deceived by Satan's strategy. Not to be deceived by Satan. That's why we grab hold of only Christ, only Christ. There's no other way. You know the life of Job. In one day, Job uh, lost all his wealth and his children were dead. We may face the unwanted things in our lives. That's our lives, how our lives are. And Job confessed the Lord is the one who gives and the Lord is the one who takes. He lost his wealth. His children died one day. This, uh, his confession at the time it, God is the one who take, it gives God is the one who takes everything Job had a disease even the, the, the families around him kill yourself and Job confessed that I will see God outside of my body he did not open the path for Satan to attack Satan kneel before Job Satan knows our weakness and path so well that's why we need to grab hold of the city of refugee only Christ, only gospel if we root down into the gospel more and more, all the doors will open. That's the principle of the Bible. The door of study, door of business, door of job, door of finance. The more you root down into the gospel, the God is the one who opens the door. That's the principle of the Bible. The correct bearer, uh, correct fruits will bear. In fact, there's no need for us to struggle. If we root down into the gospel more and more, the God will open the door of economy. God will open the door of study. Yes, we need to if God blesses, no one can block this. If we root down into the gospel, the, the uh, correct success is that uh, everything needs to come out from this. If it's not, it's all a Tower of Babel. Yes, we can be successful without city of refugees. But if we succeed without the gospel and stand as a uh, summit, then you will be used to make our other people's life more miserable. Root down into the city of refugee. Enjoy this. That's the only way to enjoy, uh, uh, save yourself. to enjoy the city of refugee Christ every day, the first. We need to uh, analyze the several incidents made in the wilderness. As the Israelites walked in the wilderness, so many incidents uh, happened. We need to analyze this quick, uh, correctly. What happens in the wilderness is to change our way of thinking. In other words, Break the old frame. What we know, what we have experienced, do not rely on them.
uh, God allowed uh, Israelites to walk in the wilderness for 40 years to change this. With the old phrase, they could not do anything. They were complaining when they were, whenever they were faced with difficulties. They had to start with the what, what God has given to them, but they, had, they started with what they have experienced. They were complaining all the time. They failed all the time. That's what happened to the Israelites. In other words, everything is moved by God to be successful. It doesn't take place from what you know. It does not take place from what you have experienced. God needs to work or move for our lives to be take place correctly. If, we, if God does not move, we cannot do anything. Psalm 127, 1, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in, in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. What does that mean? The true blessing comes from when, whenever God opens the door. We need to get rid of our old way of thinking and uh, our frame. From that, we are we fall into temptation and we give temptation to others because we are in the, an old way of thinking, an old frame. Whenever we are faced, where do we go back? They go back to the habit of old habits when they were uh, when these lights were in Egypt why did God bring us to the wilderness did God bring us out here because there's no lands to bury ourselves in Egypt they had all old, old frames in them old way of thinking from Egypt they, they had us they consider God as one of the idols. They also had a spiritual habit and nature from Egypt. They, need to, they needed to get rid of it, but they had this always. They were worried all the time and complaining all the time. They fell into... And the Bible shows how the Israelites reacted in the wilderness. Let's take a look at verse 6. Or in the valley of Nir, Beth, poor east of Jordan, in the land of Shion, king of Amorites, who reigned in Hashbon and was defeated by Moses and the, and the Israelites as they come out of Egypt. So God allowed Israelites to take east of Jordan before they enter into Canaan. They were able to conquer the east of Jordan before they enter into the Canaan. It is showing the promise that God is going to give them victory so that you may you change, get rid of all uh, old frames and old way of thinking. with our nature of the world if we live with it whenever we are faced with problems we will fall into worries there's no need to worry do not be deceived by your uh, old thoughts get rid of your old frame the old frames will worry when you are faced problems. You need to change to understand the church and believers with the words nature and eyes. You give temptations to others and you are tempted by others. The how can you how can you change your past 
Do not try to change yourself, but enter into the grace of the Word of God. Do not try to change the wrongs of yours. You cannot change yourself because you are so used to it. You cannot change. There is no need to uh, think a lot. Even if, can, if we, even if you cannot decide, it's okay. Even if you res if you even if you cannot resolute, well, it, it is okay because you are so used to it. Before you try to change yourself, but enter into the grace of God's word, then you will be able to change naturally. Even if you can resolute, it is okay. Even if it does not flex, it is okay. Do not be deceived or do not be discouraged. If you enter into the grace of God every day, God is the one who change you and guide you. It doesn't take place because you put efforts into it. You need to grab hold of the uh, word of God as your thought. You need to hold on to God's word as your thought. Then you will have strength to come to resolution. And you will have strength. In the, uh, Philippians 2, 13. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Even if you don't try, it is okay. For it is God who works in your to will and to act according to His good purpose. God gives His word and God will make you. Whenever you are faced with problems, enter into the grace of God. Do not try to do something. God May God change you. May, as you enter into the Word of God more and more, you will be used to the Word of God. And naturally, you will, uh, you will see yourself changing. You need to realize how precious the time of listening to the Word of God. You will you will enter in, you uh, your state a spiritual state will change so that God's work take place naturally. Apostle Paul confessed, "Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks to in all circumstances." That's the spiritual state of Paul. It was a spiritual state that uh, the work of God has no choice but to take place. The moment, by uh, every moment that you see the work of God takes place, then you uh, you will naturally takes uh, spiritual restore the spiritual state. God will change you and guide you so that work of God may reveal in you. So hold on to God's word as your thought first. You, most of us uh, live our lives with your own thoughts. When Holy Spirit is with you, 2 Corinthians 2.10, the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. You will be able to realize deep things of God in our difficulties because God allows us to realize the deep things of God you will see the hopes of God and wishes of God and you will see the plans of God and you will enjoy the blessing of guidance of the Holy Spirit that's what the Bible says to us the Bible says enjoy the city of refugee, the Christ. How can you change your past? You cannot change your past. Enjoy the city of refugee, the Christ, always. From there, your past be will become platform. 
뭐 비유와 부분이었구나라는 사실들이 묻히게 되었습니다. 두 번째입니다. And you will realize and see that that your past were needed for who you are. Second, to enjoy the seat of refuge, you always. I told you to. Uh, you need to know that the, uh, your past, what happens in the wilderness. Second is the Jehovah who gave them grace in the wilderness. God gives, I wants to give grace today. He gave six cities of refugee and raised in each region, whoever enter in, into this city, a city of refugee, whoever enters there will live. Adam committed sin, and then the cut off from eternal relationship with God. God gave seed of refugee without condition, Genesis 3.15, the offspring of woman will crush the head of serpent. That's the seed of refugee given to Adam. Adam. Genesis 3.15, the offspring of woman will crush the head of the serpent. From the flood, God gave the city of refugee, the ark. Whoever entered into the, into the ark will uh, survive. In other words, if we only hold on to Jesus Christ, we will live. Whoever uh, hold on to the Christ will live. Those who were in the ark survived because of water, but the others died because of water. If you are in the ark, and everything will become to uh, becomes blessings to revive you. The war broke out. In Sodom and Gomorrah, and Abraham, who the war actually became uh, the blessings to Abraham. But road was became captive in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. The day the blood of the Lamb were put, the Israelites enjoyed the true freedom. That's the city of refugee. That's why we need to enter into the city of refugee. Enjoy the city of refugee every day. God said even the one-tenth of the remaining Israelites will perish. At the time, God told Isaiah to teach Emmanuel to prosperity. God needs to open doors for all, all the works. God gave this word that when the Israelites face destruction, God gave the, the word of Emmanuel to the, to the Israelites. Whoever enter into the city of refugee will revive, will survive and enjoy the true peace from God. Our, all our problems, there's a way that we can solve our problems is to enter into the city of refugee. Enjoy the city of refugee always. Our politics and societies, the method to save our politics and societies is in the city of refugee. We don't save our country because we do well in our po politics. We cannot save our society because we follow the laws. If we enter into the city of refugee, we can save our politics and society. Just went to the regions of Caesarea and Philippi. That's the city where uh, the Romans built. The temple to worship God was built there as well. This is where the, all the religions were mixed. This is a place where the, uh, all the religions were mixed. And Jesus asked the disciples, as 
Simon Peter answered that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus blessed Peter. What does that mean? Only Jesus can change our politics and cultures. No matter how much politicians try to save the country, only Christ can change politics and cultures. That's why we need to grab today Jesus Christ, who is office from a woman, who became sacrificed and free from, uh, free from slavery. Jesus Christ, who became Emmanuel in the age of captive. Jesus Christ, who is Son of living God. Jesus Christ is our complete city of refugee. In the Hebrews chapter 4, 12, it says, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus is Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have our priest who is unable to emphasize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every day, just as we are yet he died. Let us then approach on the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Need. The Old Testament, the, uh, the high priest, is a July 10th. He uh, went before God with all the sins of the Israelites, but now the high priest, the uh, Christ, finished all our sins at once. City of Refugee, the Christ, He died for our sins. Let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence. It means that enjoy the City of Refugee every day. Do not finish of enjoying it yesterday. Today, you need to enjoy the City of Refugee. to help us in our time of need. Hold on to the Christ and start new again. Romans 8, 1 and 2, it says, Therefore there is no, now no condemnation who believes in God because through Christ, Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Hold on to the city, uh, city of refugee Christ and start new again. Lay down all the method of your life Start new. First, uh, Second Corinthians five seventeen. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, who is a new creation, the old has gone and new has come. Lay down all method of your life and start new with the city of refugee, Christ. That's what. That's the. What, that's a blessing God gives you today. With this blessing, all your past will be solved. Lastly, third, it's a mission in, in the wilderness. It talks about the future. Our mission is to testify Jesus Christ, who is city of refugee. We have system in our church. In other words, even our church, whoever enters our church, Everyone needs to revive. But there are smart ones, there are, there are not so smart ones. There were educated ones and there were not so educated ones. But in, inside the church, there's no... Everyone needs to revive in the church. Everyone needs to receive strength and become strength and become witness to save the uh, field. That's what God wants. There's, there shouldn't be any parties divided in the church. Whoever enters the church needs to listen to the gospel, raised as a disciple, and enter into the field. That's the city of refugee. The late leaders, you need to really pray and prepare a spiritual environment for, uh, for the church. You need to 
really think about the spiritual environment so that everyone can gain strength and become with uh, disciples uh, raise the disciples and become witnessed in the field that's the work of uh, lay leaders we have prepared on Han RUTC if we hold on to the next generation 237 and five tribes why do we grab hold of this because this is the most important part to evangelize the field we hold on to the healing uh, next generations and 237 nations that's how we prepare the city of refugee whoever enters the church with a true gospel may they be prepared the true peace and then sent out to the field verse 4 7 verse 6 it says with the spiritual blessing of God take possession of the land I possess the world with the gospel how do we conquer the world with the city of refugee? We call this evangelism. With, as, uh, take our past as a platform and enjoy, enjoy the blessing of God today. And the future will be connected to evangelism automatically. What we need to pray for evangelism and city of refugee to save the world. You need to store your hearts where nobody can go. May you set your hearts where nobody can do. No one, no one can kill people, but God has given a spiritual blessing to save, heal others. We have secrets from God. We, all, we already have answers that nobody can give. Whoever accepted Jesus Christ, you may not know this well. You already have answers that nobody can give. Three things with evangelism. Be until you stand before God, may you enter the nobody can go. May we do the nobody can do. May we give answers that nobody can give and enjoy the city of refugee. Enjoy, uh, pray for this. I will conclude the word. I, I say this on Friday worship. One pastor from Busan and participated in a conference in Japan. As he participated for two hours and he went to the city and then we talked uh, for a few minutes. As he, and he said, today morning, I have so many conflicts. I had so many conflicts in, in my heart. It's after Thanksgiving holiday. And the tickets to go back to uh, go to his home uh, were sold out. Because all the tickets were sold out, he was so worried. Uh, uh, and he could, fi he could find the, the uh, flight tickets, but the price was so high. Do I really have to pay for this much to go to uh, go? And if if I had enough, if he had enough money, then he wouldn't worry to participate for two hour. Uh, conference did he ha uh, did I do I really have to go he was also saying that why did all the uh, the conference take place in the morning because uh, at the time uh, during the during the during the day the tickets is was more expensive He confessed after the conference. 
whenever I participate in conference, God does not make mistake. He gives His word to me. It would be a great uh, loss for me if I hadn't uh, participate in this conference today. I know what he meant. In this short time of message, all the all the worries he had so far, he was given the answer during the conference. If I hadn't come to this place today, it would have been, it would have been a big loss for me. What am I trying to say? The place of grace given to you now. You need to set your top pri priority to receive God, grace of God. More you receive uh, the grace of God, you will have strength to challenge. Set your top pri priority to receive grace from God. Then God is going to lead your life. Because you set your life to receive, uh, set your top priority to receive grace from God. Yes, you can be successful without enjoying the seat of refugee. You can stand in the uh, position of summit. But that itself is a problem. But now, for me, I am going to set my priority to receive grace from God. And one day, God is God raise you in the state of summit and use you to save all the people. The, the process is important. The worldly efforts, yes, you can be successful, but that's not everything. We need to receive grace from God. God is God needs to open doors. God needs to guide us to do that. Then you need to whoever set their priorities to receive God's grace, then God is going to do his work for them. That's why today's title is always city of refugee if doesn't end because you enjoyed yesterday always today you need Christ city of refugee enjoy every day may all all of your past become platform and with the, uh, receive strength to challenge in the future I bless in the name of Lord God we give you thanks May we enter before the, your throne. May we realize this, that time is the greatest, uh, most important time. May we set our top priority to receive grace of God. May all our believers 